Right, this is the road test video for a uh, Lexus LS430. Uh, this particular car, because I can never remember, is registered YF53EVR. And mileage at the start of this road test is 34,603 miles. The reason we do the road tests is uh, really just we want people to see the cars in operation. Uh, you know, the very cars that you've inquired about or shown an interest in so that we can give you some feedback on the vehicle um, hopefully lavish praise on it um, or alternatively if there's something amiss we will mention it and we do what i always do i kind of go through the comments as you'll do the same yourself um, you know one by one and report back at anything i can find for you worth pointing out that the road test is also done on roads just outside of premises so it should be wholly representative of what you should feel yourself when you come and drive the car, obviously if you're interested in purchasing it. A little bit background to these cars, I've had two of these now. Um, ironically, my last one, which was I think a year newer, uh, but with very, very similar mileage, I think it's about 29,000 miles, and I didn't think I'd ever find another low mileage one again, and by pure fluke, I did. I managed to find this one. Um, so I've got a real love affair with these vehicles it's a it's a wonderful wonderful car but more of that in due course starting with the engine of the car you know it's a absolute work of art v8 just unbelievably refined this particular example with the mileage it's done or utter lack of mileage is incredibly sweet revving um, all but silent but pulls like an absolute train it really is a quick car um, there's no warning lights on the car relating to the engine or anything else for that matter. Um, but the engine starts instantly, first turn of the key, settles to very even, very subdued idle. You just can't hear it, there's no vibrations at all coming back through the car at all. Um, but the engine, absolutely spot on. Likewise, the gearbox just nowhere at all in it there's you know you put it into gear from stationary even from cold or even from hot which you should do just to see if there's any sort of delays clunks or otherwise but there's nothing it's it's just as tight as a drum you know it really is uh, i've driven some high mileage ones which will show you know some signs of wear but you know really you've got to be over well over 150,000 miles before you should feel anything on the lexus um but you know this one you know as i said it's as as you'd hope and expect um, is beautiful in terms of kind of the, the, the quality of the shifts and the tightness of them. So in terms of engine, gearbox, you know, faultless. I'll talk more about the car in due course, but really just to report back on the major functions of the vehicle at this stage. Um, obviously on a car this age, then, you know, wear and tear will creep into vehicles, even, even Lexus, you know, so what is a kind of a incredibly refined very quiet car can be spoiled if you've got you know a, a sunroof with a, a seal that's um, askew or a you know windscreen not fitted right or door seals that you know that aren't as tight as they once were but i have to say it's every bit as quiet as my last one and the one before that it's you know beautifully refined in here there's not a hint of wind hiss or uh, whistle anywhere in the vehicle brakes in the car nice solid pedal um brakes very well indeed um, there's no judders to the brake pedal no pulsing for the brake pedal either which is you know you really do want to check on sort of relatively heavy automatics because you know the, 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 the brakes take uh, the, a bit of a beating uh, sorry just wanted to zip past the bus the, so yeah, so the brakes you know can, can take a bit of a pounding on these cars, but brakes hitting the pedal there reasonably firmly. There's nothing at all that you know that shouldn't be there. It clearly, it's a, it's a nice solid pedal, but no vibrations. Um, coming to the ride of the vehicle, you know it, it is you know one of the most, if not the most, comfortable cars I've ever driven. Um, because comforts are, are strange things to define because it's different things to different people so you know I, I, I appreciate that uh, I can't find any clonks, bangs, wear underneath the vehicle that you know even, again even 
a low mileage car that's done the low miles, maybe just tooting around town, going over potholes or otherwise. Sometimes you get a little bit of kind of um, suspension movement and a few little clonks and bangs over the years. Uh, but there's nothing, it's just unbelievably tight. I mean, they're beautifully, beautifully manufactured, probably better than the later ones in all honesty, where they've uh, inevitably, I guess, cut corners. Um, but, you know, the ride quality is astonishing. But, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, th th this isn't a 7 Series BMW, you know, it's, it's not even trying to be. Um, but that doesn't make it worse. You know, a 7 Series simply isn't as comfortable as this car. It's not as quiet as this car. It's not as refined as this car. Um, I'm sure if you're absolutely hammering it around a racetrack or, um, you know, pushing very hard along an A road, uh, a 7 Series would be a better companion in that sense, but only in that sense. In all other places, cruising on A roads like this, motorway work, particularly on um, pitted surfaces, the Lexus is a far, far, far nicer car to drive. Um, but, you know, I so said if you're, if you're someone that's in a massive rush to get somewhere, then probably a 7 Series would be a better bet, at least for that one, one purpose alone. Um, but no, again, mechanically, I can't, I can't fault it. Can't fault it at all. Um, likewise, the steering, again, there's, there's no wear in it. There's no, um, there's no play that I can feel. It feels as direct as it ever did. Um, and again, you know, again, because it's riding on air suspension, it, 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 it allows for, you know, very soft, soothing touring like I'm doing now. Um, but when it does come to the corners, especially the quick ones, ironically, it, it, it re retains its composure remarkably well. I was really surprised with my last one. Um, it doesn't pitch and roll. It's only this corner, which it doesn't like, which is the, 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 the smaller corners or the tighter corners. Um, you know, it can manage them perfectly well, but you know, it's, it's, it feels like a bigger car going through them. There's more lock you've got to apply, but that, that's really about it. Rest of the time, long sweeping bends, it actually corners reasonably flat unless you really, really push hard, um, which again really just isn't in keeping with the car itself. Um, so, in terms of the major mechanicals of the car, you know, genuinely, and I would and I do criticise these things, I, I cannot find wear in it anywhere. Um, looking inside the vehicle, uh, it's in lovely condition, really is. Um, my very first one I had had a black interior um, the last one had this lighter interior which I love and of course this one's got it as well um, and quite often you find the silvers do have the black the problem with the black I think it, it the contrast of the wood is too stark um, it's too many sort of shiny surfaces that don't it's, this is a much warmer nicer place to sit than the darker ones but again I know that's personal preference that's nothing to do with me this is about the car itself but you know I'm just giving a, an insight into kind of you know what I feel about these vehicles um, but yeah all in fantastic order the car exhibits not even a hint of a squeak or a rattle from inside the vehicle um, it's quite stunningly well made uh, there isn't and I don't care what anybody says in the real world of motoring there isn't a, a BMW Mercedes built to anything like the standard these are fantastically made cars um, the rest of it is kind of quaint and old-fashioned, but it's got all the toys. I mean, you've got loads and loads and loads of stuff on the vehicle. Um, the you've got active vents for you know whizz from side to side if you want them to. The sat nav is fully functional, as you can see there. Uh, parking camera works perfectly on the vehicle. Um, all the gauges working absolutely spot on. Pixelation's um, perfectly good. Um, air conditioning pumps out absolutely ice cold air. Check that when I first got into the car. Obviously got the heater on now. Um, the only thing, and exactly the same as my last one, which I sold a, a few months ago, and apparently a well-known thing on these. Um, it's probably the only fault, and I'm surprised that Lexus have it because you know that given their experience with these things, the steering column goes in and out absolutely fine, but it doesn't go up and down. I mean, I've got a I can see the dials perfectly well. Um, I'm sure if you're, I'm six foot. Um, it might be that some people, you know, very tall people might find it just slightly obscures the top of them, but you know, really, realistically, it's set in quite a nice position. But 
you know, said that we are frank, we are honest about these things. Um, but uh, it, it's something to put off the last chat. You know, I'm, I'm certainly not going to take it to Lexus to get them to quote me sort of silly money to get to get it, get get it sorted. Um, but the purpose of the video, really, in all honesty, was to give you feedback on the car, and you know, it genuinely drives as well as any car I've ever driven in my life. It drives every bit as well as the last one I, I, I had, the M Plate One. Um, it's you know, it is a beautiful, beautiful car to drive. Obviously, if I've missed anything on the video uh, that you know I could or should have mentioned, I do apologise. Um, you know, please you know, do give us a call, and we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. But based on what is a relatively brief test drive here, um, I can wholeheartedly recommend this car.